Okay, so we are going to season our ground beef. And what I have here is some chopped garlic. I have some green onions, Cajun seasoning. This is Cajun spice, sorry. And um, Worcestershire sauce and some prepared mustard. And what we're going to do is simply add all these ingredients to our ground meat. So let's do that. The garlic. I'm going to add the green onions, the Cajun seasoning, the spices. That's one teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce, and then I'm going to put the mustard. And then I'm going to use my hands and mix this together, and I'll be back um, with the patties. Okay, so here we have our meat. I mixed um, all the ingredients with the meat, so the meat is nicely seasoned. What I'm going to do is go ahead and form the patty. I'll just take, my hands are clean, I'm just going to take a piece of the beef and... In order to get it into a nice shaped patty, what I do is I roll it in a ball and then I kind of flatten it out. Now you want it to be big enough to fit your bun the buns you're making, so you'll kind of gauge the size of it. I, I have an idea of how big the buns come out, so I kind of know already beforehand how big I want to make the patty. Doesn't always turn out right, but <laughs> for the most part it does. So that's a nice size patty and I'm going to maybe flatten it out a little bit more, right? And I'm going to go ahead and form some more patties with um, the rest of this and I'll be back. Okay guys, I was able to get about four really nice size um, patties from the mixture. So what I'm going to do is cover this with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then we'll go ahead and make the burgers. As you can see the nice grill marks on the burgers, I'm just going to put the cheese on there. This is jalapeno cheese and it's going to sit on there for about a minute until it melts. It melts a little bit, which will be pretty soon. But this smells delicious, guys. Okay, guys, these are all done. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove them. Okay guys, time to make our burger. Um, everything smells delicious and looks delicious. Um, here we have our burgers. We have some tomatoes and lettuce. Um, our, Cajun, our Cajun sauce. And we have some onions and then we have our burger buns. So let's go ahead and assemble our burger. First I take one of the bun. Take another one. And then I take a spoonful of the sauce and I just spread it on the bun okay then I'm going to take let me get a fork I'm going to take some tomatoes and some lettuce And then if you like onions, you can put onions. And of course, if you like pickles, you can put pickles. You can put whatever you want on your burger. Okay, and then I'm going to take some sauce again. And spread it on the other half. About a, a teaspoon, I guess. 
One thing I want to mention is when we were making the sauce, if you have a low tolerance for um, for hot spices, just you can use less of the um, cayenne pepper. But um, spread that over the burger. Then I'm just going to take one of these and rest it right on the bun, like so. And there you have it. Cajun burger for dinner. Guys, this is delicious. I hope you try this recipe. The entire recipe will be on the website. It's lowcarb360.com. Thanks for watching.